The charge for a telephone call between City R and City S is $0.42 cents for each of the first three minutes and $0.18 cents for each additional minute. A certain call between these two cities lasted for X minutes where X is an integer. How many minutes long was the call? Well, first of all, let's just notice if X is less than 3, then we just have to multiply the number of minutes by 42. If X is greater than 3, well, then what that means is that the total cost would equal 3 times 42 cents plus the number of minutes beyond 3, that would be x minus 3, times 18 cents. And so if we knew the total cost, we'd be able to solve for x. Okay, well, that's interesting. So statement number 1 tells us the charge for the first 3 minutes of the call was 36 cents less than the charge for the remainder of the call. Okay, slow down. The charge for the first three minutes of the call, that would be 3 times 42 cents. Was the charge for the remainder of the call, well, this part here, that's the charge for the remainder of the call, x minus 3 times 0 0.18 and less 36 cents. So subtract 36 cents. So this is an equation for x. We could solve this. Now, it would be a mistake to actually go through and get the numerical value. We don't need to do that. It is sufficient just to see, okay, we have an equation we can solve. That would allow us to answer the question. So the statement number one by itself is sufficient. Statement number two tells us the total cost. The total cost is $2.88. Well, as we saw above, if you know the total cost, you can figure out the number of minutes. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Each statement by itself is sufficient. Answer choice D.